Priya, this is my little don bowl, my salmon don bowl, and I've put it together so we've got lots of different ingredients. And you can see the board is laid out with lots of great stuff. Yes. You're liking this, aren't you? Chocker block. Um, this is a lot of elements. It is, it is. But it's all about the preparation. Once you've got it prepared, you can make lots of Don Bowls. I'll often do this for the family. Mm -hmm. At Christmas time, we're all away somewhere. Mm -hmm. uh, steam the rice, which we'll talk about, and then just put things on it and you just chow down with beautiful. some beautiful Don Bowl. Now, I've got some salmon here. This is beautiful Australian salmon. Uh, I've left the skin on, but it's been scaled. And I've cut it so there's no bones in there as well. So nice little squares. Mm -hmm. Perfect portion size. And what I'll do is make the little marinade that goes with it. So I've got some miso here, which I know you're going to love. If you mm. grab that spoon there. Oh, yes, I can. Chef. Yep, yeah. You're gonna, of course. I'm going to pour the uh, the mirin on top of it. Mm -hmm. There we go. And some rice vinegar as well. Nice. Put that on top there. And you can start mixing that oh, around. Oh, that's what this spoon is for, yeah. isn't it? I didn't know if you wanted the spoon out so you could use your finger. Now, Holy mama. We mix that around. Now, with the back of the spoon with the miso, I want you to crush the miso yes. so it becomes a paste. See, that's why I'm getting you to do it, so you can learn about how I to crush the miso. I know how to do miso, mate. Okay. I use miso all the time. Oh, it's lovely. It's a beautiful flavour and yeah. it's really good for your gut health as well, fermented soybean. Exactly. And mm. they have different coloured misos and the different coloured misos are for different times of the year. The lighter the miso is more for summertime and summertime ah. dishes and the darker the miso is for, for wintertime. Ah, so richer. It's a very, yeah. very, yeah, it's a very interesting way of doing it. Now, I've got my pan on here and I've got my salmon and I'll just add some extra virgin olive oil to the centre of the pan here. What I want to do is start the searing of the skin. Mm. That's probably the best part of it for me because the skin is like the uh, the bacon of the fish. If you crisp okay. it up beautifully, or the crackling of the fish, I'll oh, call crackling. it that. Crackling, crackling makes more exactly. sense. Bacon of the fish is well, bacon, quite... crispy bacon, yes. crispy skin, yes. the same yes. sort of thing. And I'll put it skin side down. We're hearing that sizzle already. Yeah. And one of the things you'll find when you do uh, sear off skin on the on the fish, sometimes the skin will pull together and the fish will buckle up. Mm. If that happens, it's just a matter of popping a little bit of pressure on it just to flatten it down. That will make sure that the entire piece of skin stays in contact with the pan and crispy. that will crisp it up. Exactly. And what I'll do is I'll just start brushing. Ooh, lovely. Brushing the miso paste on the outside of it. You can marinate it if you want to, but I find by just brushing it on the outside, Ooh. We'll get a lovely flavour to it. You like that, that don't you? That is really nice. Exactly. Yeah. So in here I've got some uh, some diced barramundi. Uh, no bones in there. Uh, it's usually, usually you use the tail piece or the, the top piece where you're not going to cut it into portions. So mm -hmm. I've cut it into a little tiny dice. Mm -hmm. You're going to add some of this little chilli seasoning, which is something you often find in a ramen bar. Uh, ah. When you're having the ramen soup, uh, you'll usually see a couple of different seasonings. That's one of them. That's got a bit of chilli in it and some lovely flavours. I'm going a little bit hard here, Chef, because you know that I like... Um... Yeah, yeah, you like going hard. I, I like do. that. Yeah, yeah it's great. It's, um, yeah, so, okay. so put some of that in there. You've also got some lemon juice and the... Uh, Oh, Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Juice is everywhere. In the eye. Here we go. We've got That's our... a sign of a good friendship if you get someone with lemon in the eye. And we've also got the fukaki seasoning as well. If you can spoon some of that in there. Mm -hmm. And while you're doing this, you can see I've got the rice here. I've uh, cooked this sushi rice, I've washed it and then I've cooked it in a rice cooker and then I've fluffed it up with some, uh, with some mirin, some sugar and some rice vinegar to make mm -hmm. it really nice. And I've got it here and I'll just get you to have a little taste oh. of that. The rice is really important. Thank you. You know, you've got to get the rice right. I'm seasoning it up so it's got a little bit of sweetness and some acidity mm. to it. You like that? Very balanced, beautiful. Yeah, that's mm. good. And so that's... that's. Mm, I can taste the sugar. I don't normally do that to my sushi rice, but beautiful. Ah, OK. Well, I do it all the time. You can see the salmon is coming up beautifully. And I'm just going to brush a bit of this miso seasoning on the side there. And you can see some of it will caramelise in the bottom there. And it's looking really nice, isn't it? Mm, it Coming is. Coming beautifully. We're going to bring it all together now. What we'll do is we'll start adding the rice in the bottom here. And mm. then we'll start putting some things around it that we like. So. We'll start with some uh, raw sushi there. Love it. Some raw salmon, which this we're going to... This is my kind of eating. So Japanese is one of my favourite cuisines in the universe, but I love a don bowl. I love all the variation here. Here we go. And we've got some avocado around the side here. Nice. And we're using lots of different ingredients here, and that's the idea of this, mm. is to load it up with some vegetables and some pickles. And, you know, these are regular ingredients. You don't have to get them from a Japanese store, do you? No. But this here, do you know what this is? This is a uh, wombok cabbage. Yes. I so, felt like I was in a test in an exam. Well, wombok cabbage. Wombok cabbage. And what I did is put a little bit of salt on it, some red onion mm. and some uh, spring onion mm. and then 
squeeze it together so, it get, so you get like a nice fresh little pickle. Beautiful. You like so that? easy, yes. What Mo do you want, Chef? Moving on down the line. You're doing a great job. Mushrooms. Here. Pass me those spoon there. Now, you were asking me about these mushrooms before. I was. How do you create this? Because they are delicious. I had a little sneaky sneak of the enokis. Talk so to me. I've got lots of lovely mushrooms here, and mm. I boil them up in a little bit of mirin and some soy sauce, and just let them simmer away to reduce the liquid, but also cook those mushrooms so they're nice and soft and delicious. Got some uh, pickles here, some pickled mm. ginger that goes in there, and I've got some wasabi. I have to make this dish for the kids, as I said before, but if the teenage boys have been mucking around and giving me a hard time... Extra wasabi. I usually hide the wasabi. No. underneath the avocado puree. There we go. You're and a great dad. I know, I know. You need to teach them hard lessons that you can't trust anyone all of the time. <laughs> okay. Now, we've got some of the deep-fried shallots yes, and the mayonnaise. On go. they go as well. Beautiful. A little sprinkle of them over here. Some of the deep-fried onions over there as well. And we'll pop some of these nori sheets on the side Lovely. there. Lovely. So, so many elements. Good. Lots of different elements mm. there. Mayonnaise on top of the avocado. And perfect timing. My salmon is cooked all the way through. Now, I like it slightly rare, Me so too. I've just got it like mm. that. Pop it on there like that. Oh. And then we can brush a little bit of the marinade over the top of it, or we can just grab some of this and pour it over the top like that. Look at that. Oh, beautiful. I love this kind of eating. I'm just concerned the barramundi's not on there because that's the one I'm most looking forward to. I forgot about this one. Maybe I was. Trying, maybe chef. you hit it over there because you wanted I did. to save maybe, yourself. Oh, beautiful. I love this. All these different types of fish. This is like heaven for me. Now, I'm just going to peel off. That's the crispy skin on oh, top of it. Yeah. That's my favourite part. I'll put it over here, but I'll just bust the salmon up. So you can see it's still quite rare in the centre. It is beautiful. I love it. I like it like that because it mm. stays nice and moist and juicy, but some people like to cook it all the way through. Up to you what you do, but I'm just going to chuck into this piece of salmon oh. here. Mm. I love this. Do you know what I love? I love that there are so many elements. I love the meal where you just pick around the bowl, have a bit of everything. Fish, you could improvise with veggies. This is... Heaven for me. The angels in my head are singing today. I can hear them. Mm. Oh!